Welcome to Safari Science. I'm Reptile Rob, and learning is fun. So let's learn about blue tongue skinks. Yeah. <laughs> Reptile Rob here. I got my friend, Master Squishy, the Australian blue tongue skink. Now, I get asked this question all the time. What are those holes on the side of his head? You see those holes? Well, those holes on the side of his head are the exact same as the holes on the side of your head. What are they? They are your ears. Exactly. Now look at his ears. See, they're pretty big. So, so don't stare too long. He'll feel self-conscious. Okay, you can stare. He doesn't care. All right, so his ears are on the side of his head. And if I can show you the shape of his head, check this out. See how his head is kind of like a triangle? The ears are actually pointing behind him. Our ears have these flaps and they point in front of us so we can hear what's in front of us. His ears point behind him for two reasons that I know of. Reason number one is so you can't really sneak up on him. He'll hear you coming from behind because his eyes can see in front and his ears hear behind. It's good for knowing when danger is approaching. There's a joke there somewhere, but we're gonna leave it. All right. The other reason why his ears are kind of pointing backwards is because blue tongue skinks, they like to go under the ground and they love to dig. And when their ears are pointing behind them and they're going in the ground, do 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 do, the dirt and stuff doesn't get in their ears. It gets deflected. And if you look super close, I like to call these deflector shields. There's extra scales right on the side of the ear, which kind of push the dirt to the side. So. That is what the holes on the side of the blue tongue skink are, and you'll also notice it on a whole bunch of lizards. Usually holes. There are little holes there. One, two. All right. Yeah. So I'm Reptile Rob, and this is Master Squishy. We'll see you next time. Bye bye.